Today is a first alert weather day. We're tracking severe storms back off to the west already. A tornado watch in effect until 8 o'clock this morning for Montgomery and Toons County, and this could get expanded back off to the east as we progress through the morning. Here's that line of strong storms going through middle Georgia and then going into upper South Carolina as well, but this extends all the way into southwest Georgia. Let's take a look at where we've got some of the closer thunderstorms right now. It's going to be going into Swainsboro, just north of town and down I-16. This is going to be the wetter area first this morning if you're commuting. And there is one severe thunderstorm right now. This is off to our west, but just a little bit of what's to come for us, at least potentially. We're looking at the chance for heavy rain for just about everybody. And then within these stronger storms, wind gusts, if they are severe, would be over 58 miles an hour. Of course, with that watch out there, we have to talk about the tornado threat. And it's a lower end risk for hail today, pretty much now through 1 o'clock. And 1 o'clock would be closer to I-95 coastal areas. We're drying out this afternoon. Looking at our 12 hour forecast, you can see everybody getting rain here as we go through the commute on this first alert weather day. So prepare for that rain today and also for the chance for strong to severe storms. And we've got the storms moving in through the morning commute. And then just about everybody's damp for lunchtime drying out finally as we go through the evening. Let's take a look at that future radar. Shower storms approaching our western areas in the next hour, and then we're going to see those still progress through the area by 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Stopping this at 9, a lot of people either getting to work or on the roads at this time with the line of showers and storms just draped over us here as we go through the early to mid-morning hours. Late morning still seeing uh, storm chances favored for I-95 in the coast, and that's really going to linger until about 1 o'clock. We finally clear out front gets out of here and we start cooling down tonight into our Thursday morning. So probably by about 12 1 o'clock first alert weather days out of here. Then we're talking about the colder air that's coming in. That's the other part of the forecast. After we get past the storms today, we're dealing with the colder morning. So typically we're about 52. We'll be below average every morning through Sunday. And I mean, we're in the lower 70s right now. That's only a few degrees off of our normal high for the day. So we've got that rain today maxing out at 100 and then we dry it out going into early next week. And your full seven day forecast you can see today is that first alert weather day, but nicer, cooler weather comes in for the end of the week and the weekend. I've got more on your first alert forecast, of course, coming up.